Tequila Talk Tuesdays. Just gonna add my girl here. Perfect. And then Jenna will come on and we are so, so pumped about Tequila Talk Tuesdays. This is gonna be amazing. We'll just wait for her to pop on here. There she is. Hi. Hi. I'm so excited. I know. Me too. Tequila Talk Tuesdays, it's finally happening. I am so ready. Uh, <laughs> me, me too. Here, here it is, right here. This is amazing. <laughs> We've been talking about this for a really long time, to be completely honest. Like, since, I feel like since you and I just, like, vibed. Hi, Sherry. Hi, my babes. Oh, There's look at all these people. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> One of my besties just hopped on, and then Valerie. Whoop, whoop. Yay. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. Well, it's awesome. Welcome, everybody, to the very first episode of our brand new IGTV series, Tequila Talk Tuesday, where Jenna and I talk about fun things in our beauty industry and everything that, uh, hi, Jill. That's my sister. Hi, babies. Um, <laughs> where we talk about everything and anything that we feel like about the beauty industry. Um, anything from, you know, how we got started to horror clients to business tips, like anything, mindset, anything, anything that we want. Um, but today is our very first episode and we are kicking it off. I will tag them in the details after. But Taramana, you guys have probably seen this all over Instagram. This is the Rocks brand of tequila. Taramana, go check it out. Um, and we are going to be trying it for the first time on this episode. So, in honor of Tequila Talk, do you have your shot ready or do you have to pour it? Okay, yeah, pour I'm going to pour it. I'm going to pour it. I'm just trying to be like all prepared. <laughs> you know, my, my drink was made, but my shot was not. <laughs> well, in honor of the kickoff of Tequila Talk Tuesdays, cheers. Cheers. I love it. <laughs> Ooh. No lime, no salt. We're chins. No, we're badass. What are you talking about? We don't need a lime and salt. We're so so good. <laughs> okay. Um. First thoughts. I actually, I really like it. It's very smooth. It I is, like it. It is smooth. It warms my insides. That's for sure. But like good tequila shit. Yeah. <laughs> when I went to the store. I was hoping that they were going to have the Reposado one, and they yeah. did, They just had Blanco, or Blanco, I guess I should say it right. Um, but, so it's not like, Blanco's not my favorite, but I'm super pumped for the Reposado one. Um, yes. But I'm excited for my drink, because it has tequila, water, and fresca. And so I, I think that's going to be really, really good. <laughs> I, and see, and I'm such a Blanco human, I... I love that. Um, oh my god, I love this comment. Wow, and y'all kept a straight face doing that <laughs> shot. So impressed. Who said um, this? Uh, oh, love it, Kelsey. <laughs> perfect. It's because we're alcoholics, Kelsey. That's why. Like that would be why. Um, I love Blanco tequila. It's my fave. Um, I drink. I actually normally drink it with sugar-free Monster. Believe it or not, which like hashtag Monster. Heart. You can send that shit. Um, but I decided to follow in your footsteps. And I got some wa tequila, water, and some flavored carbonated fresca. It's not actually fresca. It's the great value kind. It's well, not. also in honor of um, all the stupidity going on, look at my cup. Yes. <laughs> I thought it was fitting. I like it. Yeah, I can't believe we're going back into, like, phase one. Kill me. Just kill me. I'm just going to skip over that and not talk about that because I, done. Can't, I can't even... <laughs> Um, Done. Wait, one of the things that I thought would be kind of cool to talk about, and then we can like go into our intros and stuff. I yeah. think some people don't know, but um, okay, The Rock, with yep. you liking the tequila and me being like kind of on the fence with this one, but excited to try the next one. I just think it's so cool how it he it literally could have just been water in there or yeah. or shit it could taste like anything and people yeah. would still line up to buy it and it would probably still sell out because of his like 
personal brand that he's made. Like, I think everyone loves him. I don't think I've totally. met a person who doesn't. <laughs> There's been, right? He's just like, I don't know, he's he's got his, his hands in absolutely everything. And I just think like he's, I think he's just like a super prime example of like what a badass, sh like a badass entrepreneur should be because he's just, he's trying so many things. He's an actor, he's a wrestler, he's a producer. He's, you know, he's he's trying all these things. And I just, and and then like on top of it, like his charity work and stuff like that. I'm like, I, I love hearing about all of his charity work. So yeah, I think you're right. It could have been, like that could have been like his dirty sock water, and people would have friggin' brought he it. Probably would have paid more if it was his dirty sock water, <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I. But I think you're absolutely right. I think the which is kind of cool because it, it like when you when you mentioned this before, it was just like a segue into like the beauty industry, where it's like your like our reputations as beauty artists, which I like to call. I don't like calling us technicians or stylists. We are artists creativity all I of like that it. I like it right <laughs> um I just think like as a reputation as an artist you may not have like the best quality like so for example what like when I first started out doing lashes um the I I definitely didn't it, as I was learning I definitely wasn't like high top and like pumping up set pumping out sets in an hour like that was just definitely not me but I I I focused on the things that I was actually really good at and made sure that my client had an amazing experience, that we gelled, we vibed. I was very professional. I treated my business like it was like a million dollar business. And I've had, and I've had clients, like kept clients for like the last six years, the same clients coming back to see me because they're coming back to see me. And obviously my work has improved, but like they're coming back to see me rather than the, the work that I gave them. Which totally. is like, and like speaking from being one of your clients, it yeah. was when I moved to Calgary, it was so hard. And I was like complaining to the girls because I was like, it is so hard to find your people in a, yeah. new, in a new place. And so I went to a couple different people who, who are great, like, you know, nothing against them, but just like you said, vibing with someone is totally. night and day because if you're spending hours with someone you don't want conversation to be hard you don't want it to be awkward yes. and I, I don't know i just think that you know maybe i mean my lashes were freaking bomb but even if they were like you know maybe so less hard. than what i've had before i still would have came back because i was like man i freaking like her and this is really sweet and Aww. so yeah i just think that that is so important in our industry and sometimes I think and this it goes for both of our industries like some people think that they are just so good and that talent excuses bad behavior yes. which I think that that's no I don't agree no I don't agree with that either because if I'm gonna walk in on my hair like you know so for like you're you're a hair artist <laughs> I love it um but like that's that's your art that's your artistry that's your creativity if my hair was like super bomb but you were a shit person to deal with god I could not go back like the, the, I don't want to I want to feel like I'm you know just as much as you're adding value into my life by like doing my luscious locks okay disclaimer Jenna doesn't yeah. actually do my hair yet <laughs> yet <laughs> but um but like, if I if I walked into a place and I felt like dismissed and felt like I, uh, you know, wasn't, I was not adding value as a client to them, even though they were adding value to me, I wouldn't go back. Like, I wouldn't go back at all. I want to feel like it's a collaboration. And I want to feel like I am helping them. I'm helping them as much as they're helping me. I feel like, is that like, does that make sense? Totally. Sort of? Totally. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just felt like with you and me, like we just vibed like right away. It was so funny because after after your first appointment, I walked upstairs and I was talking to my husband. And I was like, I love this new client. I love her. <laughs> like I was, I was just like in awe. Like because we we just talked about all the same things and we just had all of the same. We were just on the same wavelength. Valerie, you're missing I, out. Jenna's the that's bomb. My mom. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hi, mom. Yeah. Um, awesome. Oh, I know. Like, and I and I see all your work. Like, and you're absolutely friggin' talented. But like, welcome to 2021 pandemic shutdowns. I know. And you know what? And that also speaks to the truth of I am all about supporting people in the industry. Again, yeah. speaking to like people thinking that 
you know, good work excuses bad behavior. I I think there's room for all of us to succeed. And so I think that it's like, it's great. And I'm supportive of anyone that you would see. And I mean, if you end up seeing me, that's great. It's freaking yeah. great. But but I still am supportive of anyone else that, you know, gets to work on my friends or family, whatever. And I'm never going to make people feel bad about that. <laughs> I think that's a really good point. Because I mean, this industry, I don't know about I don't know specifically about like the hair industry. But like in lashes, I really find there's a stigma against helping other or new or struggling lash artists it's almost like and i talk about this a lot in in my in my trainings okay so hold on uh, rewind introduction we forgot to do this but just really really fast my name's amber young i am a uh <laughs> i'm a master lash artist and master lash trainer i teach uh online education and in-person one-on-one trainings for lash extensions i have been doing this for six years I love what I do. I got into the industry because I had to, and I ended up falling in love with it. And that's my mini story right there. Um, (laughs) Really mini. (laughs) I mean, we could talk a whole hour about how we got into the industry, honestly, but um, my, my biggest thing is that like when it like in the, the reason why I started becoming an educator is I just saw in like in lash groups and lash support groups, it's just like, people ask questions and they're like kaylee i'm so happy i caught this live video yay we're happy to have you um i'm glad it's not just my mom (laughs) i would be i would be so pumped if it was just your mom i don't even care like i i love it i love it um i just think like it it, in the especially in the lash industry um it's uh, people would ask questions like or they're brand new or maybe they didn't take a good enough training or something like that and they would ask a question and some of these texts would just like snap back and just be like well don't you can't post your work unless you're at a certain level and like you should really try working on this and like just not constructive criticism very very backlashy and it's kind of and for me i give out free information all the time i don't care if you're a lash artist come and talk dm me i'll give you i will literally give you information for free because i just feel like there is more than enough room for in this industry for everybody to to succeed so as a woman as an entrepreneur why are we not empowering you know the industry okay now you go (laughs) yeah no totally i i 100 percent agree and it's funny because yeah there's like people will be like oh what formula did you use on this client or this color and there's some people that are so hesitant to like share that information they're like well you need to know like what it was pre-existing before and what it lifted to and blah 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 yeah okay you do but still like they probably already know that yeah why are you assuming that they don't have that information yeah yeah oh hey queen love you that is my girl alicia hi babe she is like a badass bomb lash artist and a hairstylist she has got she's all wrapped up in a one yeah that awesome that i love awesome. it <laughs> um, but yeah, um I, yeah continue what you were gonna oh, say yeah i was just gonna say like um quick little intro on mine too um kind of like very similar to you except that i've been doing it for freaking ever um yeah. but just recently yeah got into like trainings and doing extensions and develop my own method and all of that and so I just, I feel like I'm extra, oh, thanks. <laughs> I feel like I'm extra aware of so much else going on in the industry and yeah. the support because of doing that and talking to people wanting to learn. And I don't know, I just think that, yeah, people should be more supportive. And I do feel like we are seeing more of that now in the yeah. industry, especially during these times, because it is freaking crazy. <laughs> I feel like, but I, but I also feel like I'm going to, like, I kind of want to be, um, I'm going to, I'm just going to talk. Um, (laughs) I feel like you and I notice those things more um, about support is because that's who we're attracting in, in our industry is the people that need support and we're willing to help them. And so vice versa, like, and at the same time, we're also attracting people who are willing to give support, but I don't think it's any, I, I honestly still don't think that it's any more supportive than it, than it's been before, because there still are a lot of people that like do, they're literally doing the same things we are. They're creating their own methods. They're creating their own education. They are building programs and making Facebook groups, but then they're still so stingy because all they care about is, is enrolling people in their programs or, or, you know, I can't give you this information unless you, unless you join one of my trainings. And it just, it sucks because even as a, as a new person starting out, you want to 
be able to find your tribe in order to, you know, get support and, and ask questions and have a mentor. And I just did this. I literally just did a live, uh, the Lash Queen Summit I just did. And we talked about this at length because there's just, there's just, I feel like there's still just not enough support and it needs to be talked about oh, a lot. Yeah, it, it is. And I, I think nowadays too, people are so good at marketing and I, yeah. I have fallen victim to amazing marketing. And that's where I really wanted to be different with what I was offering people because I've spent thousands of dollars on so many different trainings and, you know, they make it out to be this amazing thing and then yes. it's not. So I feel like I, I was kind of hesitant to starting it because, you know, you want it to be perfect. You want to have everything to yeah. put together. You want to have the videos. But at the end of the day, I'm like, I, what I missed was the support. So I was yes. like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to do it. And it's been awesome. And I really want to stand by that, you know, support aspect of if yeah. I told them, I'm like, if it's important, freaking pick up the phone and call me. And I will tell my client, give me two seconds. I just have to answer this phone call to answer a question. Because and that's what was missing. I feel like your clients are going to appreciate that too. I mean, you've been in my, you've been on my table where I suddenly have a, I have a student message me and I'm just like, hold on, like yeah. texting away trying to answer a question. Um, and Kaylee just commented and said, she's super grateful for Cheryl. Cheryl is one of my, she's actually one of my um, Lash Queen University alums and her, she's probably one of my like biggest supporters. I absolutely love her and vice versa. I love her and support her so much. She's done so many things. But she is, she, I'm really glad that I, like, the, the empire and the students and the people that I am teaching are, are of the same mindset. Because I feel like you can get people in your, uh, people in your education that aren't of the same mindset, that don't, don't think about giving that support. And um, my name is Megan, by the way. Okay, perfect. I keep calling you Kaylee. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. I just I, filmed. Perfect. Nice to meet you, Megan. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you, Megan. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, like, and that's, like, that's the thing, and you want to be able to find, and Cheryl actually had a really good point about this, is because she says that when, like, she said that when she was looking for support when she was first starting, she she wanted to find a mentor, and she, I love the way she, she said she was a stalker, and I really want to... <laughs> I really think that that's a good thing, though, because you want to be able to stalk and like the, like social media stalk the people that you look yeah. up to, and you probably have people that comment and and message you all the time and or, or ask you opinions about things, especially you starting your own method about how to get better in the industry. Um, and it's those people that are going to be your like biggest fans and the ones that are going to succeed the most because you're able. You know, you you were able to support them and help them, and finding that right mentor and being able to find your tribe. That was a huge tangent. Yeah, no, but I, I I agree. And one of the things is I I love podcasts. I have done a ton of driving this past year, and I like go to town on podcasts. That's why I was so excited when you said, "Oh, I've been thinking about doing a podcast," and then we decided to start out with this and see how it goes. And um, <laughs> I love a stalker. That's called research. Yes. <laughs> yes, <Love that>. Alicia. <laughs> um, one of the podcasts I was listening to, they said so many people are so focused on building a following. They just want followers, followers, followers. But he's like, honestly, I don't care about that. He's like, I just need two people. I need two people to be yes. like, my main support and that are going to like scream my name from the mountaintops to other people. And then those two people will be so obsessed with me and in love and they'll tell two more people. And then those two people will tell two more people yes. and it'll just keep kind of like snowballing like that. And you want I the right people for yeah. sure. You don't want just mindless, you know, no. we want the right people. Totally. Yeah, you want it to be genuine and not just like, oh, yeah, we have. And that's why, I don't know, even with this Instagram live, I'm like, it's going to be my mom watch <laughs> watching. Oh, wow. Well, and that's where I'm like, it just, it, you just have to start. You just have to do it. Exactly. And yeah, I just, I think go for it. And it doesn't have to be perfect right off the bat. You know, you just have to fucking do it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I mean, and that's, I love this. Like, I mean, and we've got, we've got people from your side. We've got girls from my side. We've got, we've got Alicia. We got Megan. You've got your mom. We've got, I know that the, there was a couple of your girls that were super excited about um, your mom. Hey, now. <laughs> we love you, mom. Um, 
we just i just think that like i mean if you are able uh, there's always quotes like you know if you're able to help one person or impact one person's life you've done your job which is like i totally stand by that and i honestly like when i launched my first program i didn't think that i was gonna get more than like three signups and i got 15 like it was it was unbelievable to me but i was so freaking excited about that one sign up. I was like, I don't even care if it's this one person. I don't even care. I, I will make sure that she gets like top quality training and like the best advice. Like, I think if you are going to, um, I think if you're going to follow somebody and you're going to be that invested, you want that person that is just going to be overexcited, even if it's just you just overexcited to make sure that you get the best quality education, because that's what I look for. And yes. and a mentor and training and whoever I'm following, I want to make sure that I gel with their content. And that's why I think our our this live because we've been taught like so honestly, you guys like we've been Jenna and I've been talking about this live podcast, whatever YouTube channel, whatever we've decided that this is going to be. This for, conversation, this <laughs> conversation is it, it's been in the talks for a really long time because I mean we constantly. Um, have been talking about it. And just like you said, Jenna, just start, just go, just dive in with both feet. I mean, what, are, honestly, what are, what are we risking besides exactly. having great conversation in tequila? And tequila, you can't yeah. go wrong. No, no. <laughs> I wish that I had a table that you could like see it behind me that it was like, Right. For that. I was like, well, I'm like, I'm in my studio and I'm like, this is probably against like health codes, but I need a table. <laughs> so I can like show it off. I love so, it. I love it. <laughs> um, hey, right. Well, I'm like, I mean, it, I have a good feeling about this, this, this pod. What are we calling uh, this series? We'll call it a series. It's kind of like, um, I got my invite for Clubhouse. I don't know if that makes me cool or not now, but um, I'm like, this is basically like Clubhouse, but on Instagram, you know? Yep. And I think it's more, I don't know. I, I'm not too familiar with Clubhouse yet. I'm still kind of learning it. I want, to be, I want to be on Clubhouse so bad, but it's still for yes. 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 Oh, yes. I'll send you. I'll send you an invite. Hold on, but is it only for, but is it only for Am or Apple still? Oh, I don't know. That's a good I think, question. see, and that's the thing. That's why I wanted to join Clubhouse so bad because I was so excited about this new platform and my social media coach got on it and she was super excited and it was like blowing up for her. And I tried to join it and they're like, oh, by the way, it's not for Android. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Sucks to suck, Amber. <laughs> Damn it. Um, <laughs> no, it's, yeah, I don't know. But it's, I think, a conversation and I just want people because I don't do videos, I typically don't like getting in front of things and talking. So Sorry. it's nice. Yeah. It's good to do it with you because like you said, I was like, oh shit, I'm a little nervous. You're like, no, it's fine. We're just talking like how we normally would talk. Normally talk. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that it's good. And I don't know, I think this is a good starting point to see what it evolves into and, you know, put it on our YouTube and our website and the blog and all the yes. things. And I just think that having, oh, Alicia, hold on. It's TTT Tequila Tequila Tuesday Tea. Tequila tea. <laughs> I love it. That is, a, that is a drag queen reference, and I'm so happy. If that's not a sign, I don't know what it is. We'll don't be know making what it is, the t-shirts with the TTT soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just, I think that, like, having a raw conversation, especially because, you know, like, like, there's so many times when you're having a conversation with somebody and you're just like, I should be recording this because this is so valuable. And there's things that, like, I, the, 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 uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the vibe. conversation, the candor, the, the, yeah, that, all the things. Well, I think the tequila is hitting a little bit. <laughs> and that's, but that's why we said we wanted to do this because we kept saying, we just need to record our conversations during my lash appointments while I'm just laying there. Yeah. <laughs> and so we decided to do something a little bit more interactive by doing it this way. <laughs> well, I think that, I, I just think that having that raw conversation just out in the open and having people, you know, even, even if they don't vibe or gel with us, I mean, like, Hey, I mean, if they got like, like we say, if they get one valuable thing from our conversation, then we've done our job. 
Well, and I, I just think too, like you said, going on the stalkers, aka doing their research. Um, we will be the stalkies, you guys. You guys can stalk us. It's okay. Yeah, they'll they'll creep through, and you know, yeah. I've done my um, you know, what? fair of binging some videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and this will be a good way for them to see you know, if they want services, if they want training, anything, it, it'll be, yeah, a little sneak peek into who we are. And maybe yeah. they don't like that I fucking swear all the time. And then they Oh, will. I'm a trucker. <laughs> like, I, you and I've been trying. Bye, Megan. Love you, love you, love you. Um, I'm like, I just, I just think, honestly, like, we are, we're, we're very, like, jelly. And even if they, even if people don't buy services from us, like, oh, well, like, this is our, this is our, this is our creator. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's like, it's a creative outlook or outlet. There we go. Uh, creative outlet. We're able to just talk and, and, and we'll come up with different topics. Oh, this is another thing, you guys, which is that we're, we're super pumped about too. Every week, we're going to try a new recipe uh, together. And so it'll either come from uh like our minds or if you guys oh, i'm gonna post a story so like hit notifications follow stories you know all of that yeah that thing even though Ding. i don't know where, where be on instagram but anyways um i'm gonna post a story and if you guys uh, like a poll and if you guys have a suggestion of, of a tequila drink that you want us to try please let us know because this would be like just trying this terra mana like because y'all know i love it love it <laughs> it's so good um, someone, good. someone said that there's like apparently all the celebrities are making the tequila so we should be featuring uh, trying all the celebrity tequilas and to see which one is actually the best wow okay <laughs> mission I, <laughs> mission statement but like i don't like i'm obsessed a little bit i know. I, I, I i like it because it's the rocks right <laughs> We might be a little obsessed with the rock, you guys. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'm I'm excited to have um I'm excited to have other people on here too. Like I said, yeah. we can talk to other people that are in the industry, and even both of our partners are you know entrepreneurs, and I think it'll be fun just to have some good conversations about the challenges of starting businesses during COVID and doing all of that. So I'm yeah. just so pumped for the upcoming weeks to doing the Tequila Talk Tuesdays and that it will be less introductions and less of me just rambling. And yeah, we can. Hey, same thing. <laughs> well, we, said, we said today was just going to be kind of scripted anyway, like compared to what it's going to be, uh, what it's going to be coming in the coming weeks. And I mean, we'll obviously have like talking points, I think, because like this today was like introduction, tr introductions, trying the new tequila. And that, like, I mean, we just kind of wanted to know where, like, how this was going to go and how it was going to flow. And I think, I mean, I think that the, the eight people that have stayed watching this is like, love you. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I mean, and like Alicia just commented and said, you never know who you're, who you're inspiring with your positive vibes, vibes and encouragement. And I think that's so true because I'm, we, I mean, our intention here is not to, uh, what's, we're not here to like change lives, but I feel like it's more, I, I feel like we're more, we want to be relatable and like, let people know that there are, you know, there are people out there that, um, that are in the same struggles and we, we, you know, all, yeah. Oh, she, the drink recipe. She oh, okay. Drink. I was like four equal parts. What are we talking about here, Alicia? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I just think that our mission, like, I, like our goal here is to just be relatable and be able to have, like, you know, and have a drink, casually sit down and have a conversation with other humans. Yeah. Totally. And you and me, because yeah. we, we love it. We're on the same wavelength here, you know? <laughs> we try. We try. <laughs> Eventually, getting bigger, maybe, maybe, like, having longer combos, like you said, inviting, like, um, um, inviting like an interview here i feel like <clears throat> dwayne the rock johnson's make a sponsor, <laughs> sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> <Turn on. laughs> um but like i mean i feel like i like having other people that are in the industry other entrepreneurs other female entrepreneurs whoever just to come on and have all that insight i think would be so valuable i mean even if we're just shooting the shit and we're talking about whatever we want to talk about um i think that i, I think that just 
having that relatability is just going to be balls. Yeah, it'll be good. And man, I'm, it's already 630. And I'm like, okay, we got to keep it at 30 minutes. And I'm like, right. how are we going to do this? But now I'm like, well, fuck, I could talk for two hours. <laughs> I, I'm like, we were so worried. What are we going to talk about? Is it going to be stale? No. no. Tequila, it's going to matter. This is great. So thank you to everyone that joined. I am yeah. so, so pumped about this. And yeah, I'm just very, very grateful that we have this platform that we can do this and, you know, just get to know each other better and yeah, share our um, insights. <laughs> yes, our experiences. I'm really excited to talk about horror clients because I feel like that I feel like lots of people can relate to, relate that. to that. That will be an entire episode. Horror clients. Legit. <laughs> JK, um, I love all my clients. <laughs> well, yeah, no, all our current clients. Yeah, the current. other one. <laughs> true, 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 true. <laughs> so next week, um, at the same time, we're gonna do six p.m. Um, I'm gonna be posting this on YouTube as well. If you guys and um under our channel, Tequila Talk Tuesdays, which I will update tonight because I haven't gotten on it yet. But we are going to. We'll see everybody next week. I'm very, very excited. Six p.m. Everybody set your dials for more ridiculousness of Jenna and Amber talking tequila. And more tequila. And more Terramana. Oh, Kaylin. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Kaylin. We will see you next week. We yes, and it'll eventually get to like an hour, we think. We're just trying to like, you know, feel out the out. water. Not overwhelmed. Our, you know, tip our toe in. Yeah. You know. I can't talk today, you guys. Like this I know, like I stumbling over your words. Yes. <laughs> That's me right now. <laughs> Maybe Amber yeah, will get half a shot next time. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to stifle me? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thank you so, so much, everyone. We love you. <laughs> we love you, and we will see you all next week. See you at six. Bye. <laughs>